I think people have the right idea about this book. Welcome back to my messy, messy life. What's up? It's Jess. And today, or I guess this video is going to be focused on getting the bookshelves beautiful. Um, so top half looks pretty alright. It's the bottom half that we have to worry about. So I'm going to try and make a little plan for today. I have a bunch of books that I sold. If you didn't know, my last vlog was an unhaul and I uploaded a bunch of books to my Pengo Books account. I'll link that down below because there's still some books available, but a lot of you guys have been mes messaging me love and support and I'm just so grateful. I <laughs> sold a bunch, so I need to do a lot of packaging today and hopefully walk to the post office and get a bunch of them shipped. There is a few packages that are like massive where people ordered a lot of stuff and I'm again so grateful but I'm like oh I'm gonna need help because I can't walk this box that is gonna be larger than me and probably heavier than me to the post office so I'm gonna have to figure out that but yeah I'm gonna try and do a little game plan for today oh I also started reading a book last night that I thought wouldn't be good and I am surprised uh, it's hard to explain but I'll give you a little reading update in a second because I so I know overall I want to fix my bookshelves. I want to get all the books that I am unhauling onto my second shelf if you didn't see it in my last video. Basically I want to fill this up with all the unhauled books and get them away from the floor. <laughs> Does anyone else do this where every day they write a post-it note of their to-dos? I have a planner. I have so many variations of journals but I don't know why. The sticky note makes me happy. So I think I have to post the rest of my books on my Pingle Books account. That would that would be beneficial. I still have like 20 or so books to post. And I just it takes so much time and I hate doing it. <laughs> but I should, because I should. Period. Post books, package books. I'm gonna package the ones that I for sure can walk over today and send them out. Why is adulting always just cleaning? Uh <sighs> So the last kind of thing I need to do for my like morning routine is to journal. I have been starting every day, not starting, but like after breakfast, after I'm done procrastinating, I journal. I journal all the things that I want to do and all the things that I did yesterday and how to make today a great day. And then it just starts me off on the right footing. So I am going to journal really quickly and then I'll tell you about the book that I started that I'm very excited for. I'm 80 pages into it. I'm, I'm just like, wow, wow. Wow. Uh, why am I being secretive? Um, <laughs> it's such a fun age. If you follow me on Instagram, I posted the four priority books for this month. So this is the first priority and I'm, I'm just like, wow, I have thoughts, but I'm going to journal, try and clear my mind, focus myself, you know, you know. Also my caffeine is hitting, I think, or maybe I'm just excited. Life. What a, what a weird thing to be a human. I also just really love this journal, peeps. Oh, I'll link it down below if I can. I think I got it at Barnes & Noble's uh, during the holidays. And it's just cute. It gives me it gives me the book aesthetic. And I, I love how big the pages are. It's great. Highly recommend. I'll link it. I'll link it down below. Okay, just finished journaling. And now... Okay, let's talk about this book, shall we? Um, I picked this up in New York actually uh if you saw that book haul and I was like thinking like I'm buying this because I've heard it's popular and that so many people love it and I was like Jess why do you keep buying books like that but I think people have the right idea about this book at least at least from what I've read so far in the bookstore, I was like looking at it and I'm like, huh, do I want to read another book about how black life is hard and depressing? But then I realized that was an assumption I made and I read on this little cute little pink flap that this is a funny, fast paced social satire about privilege in America. And I went, ooh, it says satire? Immediately put it in my bag to check out. I read six chapters. I am actually starting part two now if you've read such a fun age 
I'm really enjoying this. This book gave me the impression that it would be about, you know, black life being hard, as I said. I thought this because of the back. It talks about Amira being black and she is accused of kidnapping a white child because she's a babysitter in an affluent neighborhood. So I was like, ooh, do we want to read about the difficulties right now? No, really, my heart can't, can't, can't handle. It's going through a lot. But then I realized, I'm like, okay, social satire, funny. I was sold, I was sold. And the first page was actually funny when I read through it. I really liked it and I thought, okay, you know what? Maybe this is a good book to pick up. Plus it is about a 25 year old getting her ish together. And that has kind of been the theme of this year so far. So very excited. But the premise does start with this kind of impactful moment of this woman being accused of kidnap <sighs> and of course very racist and not fun but then we immediately follow her life and the woman who is the mother of the child and it goes goes crazy i think their lives are intertwined and it makes me so excited to keep reading i feel like there's a little bit of a mystery and there's a cute little romance that's happening and i'm liking it so far so it seems to have way more facets but now I'm going to focus on um, posting these last few books on my Penguin Books account. No more procrastination even though I want to so bad. Don't do it. Don't procrastinate kids. Don't do it. They are all finally, finally listed go check it out link below i'm so proud of myself i did not I did not want to do it but i did it I grab the packages that are smallest so like one or this one has like two or three books in it and then I'm just gonna package them add some stickers and bookmarks and deliver them over here I have my like big packages that are gonna take like gonna need a really big box and I don't think I can walk them to the post office so we have some some bundles over here and I lined up my journals why why do I have so many journals. That's that is the question. I have been really putting this off, but I think it's finally time to organize the bookshelf. <sighs> I kind of don't want to, but I figured if I film it, I will make myself do it. This week, we are organizing the bookshelf. Let's do it. <laughs> so I think the first thing I'm going to do is take all my books off the shelves and then organize them by color. That's like the easiest way on the floor, reds, whites, whatever. A lot of them are color organized already, except on the bottom here. You probably can't see it. There's this random shelf, which I have been accumulating all my kind of newer books. Uh, so these not organized by color at all. So I'm just going to yank everything off the shelf. It's 
done. She is cleared, minus the unhaul books. I need a package. I have comics and journals there, but all of my books organized semi by color on the floor. Uh, so each stack is like white, pink, orange, blue. There's a lot of blues. Black, purple. So I'm gonna quickly wipe down the shelves and then start stacking. I don't know what color I wanna start with though, cause I normally go like white and then into the rainbow and then end with black. Um, so I might do that, but I also might start with black, then white, and then rainbow, cause I feel like that would be nice. Especially um, ending, cause this whole section is gonna be kind of miscellaneous, so it might be nice to have more color down this way. But who knows, I'll try everything. But honestly, not too bad. So many books. So many books. Overwhelmed. Just a little. Let me show you in detail what I've done for now. There's probably gonna be more evolutions as I look at this and play around with it. So I actually think these top two worked out very well. And then it goes into these blues, dark blues, then the greens, yellows, reds, reds into white. And then these are all, I'm gonna change out those soon. But I think it looks okay. Not bad. I mean, like, 
this kind of looks cool. Very, very dark and moody up here. And then you scoot down and it's super, super colorful. Also, I have certain books faced out, which I might change. I'm not sure if I love it. Hmm. Yeah, now I have to think about it. Marinate. What do you think? Be honest. Hurt my feelings, please. I need help. Okay, it has been a day and I have moved around the shelves and now it is reveal time. Um, this is not the final stage, but this is a good final step. And mind you, I have so many books over here. Ignore all of them. Those are ones that I'm selling online. Thank you to everyone who's been purchasing from my Pango Books account. There are still books available. I'll link them down below. But here are the shelves. Ooh, I'm so proud of them. I still need to work on... <laughs> what to do up here i'm so happy that i don't have like literal stacks of books all over the top because i literally i can't reach up there so i like that i can now reach my books a lot easier um so i guess i'll go from shelf to shelf show you what's new and different the first thing you can probably see is that i actually did some vertical stacks for a very long time i'll throw a picture up on here i've been doing a lot of horizontal stacking and it really helps with the rainbow and i feel like it helps it make it look pretty but i just wanted something different so overall i think it looks pretty nice i don't know it might change but here i'll go shelf shelf show you i'm not in detail every book that i own but i did a nice cute little stack here and then i have the starless sea in ninth house kind of faced out because i really like this hardback cover the hardcover has this like really pretty golden embossing on it beautiful oh and i guess you can kind of see the top shelf which is a work in progress i think it's pretty ugly <laughs> to be honest besides this amazing illustrated book cover that i like to flip through everything else ugly i have all my black books on the top i went from like the massive hardcover black books to smaller hardcovers to that stack of paperbacks over there and then i have some candles here it's also kind of hard with the vertical stacking because if i wanted to pull a book out i have to like undo the whole stack and i also have this lovely book cover facing out love boat taipei it's just stunning and it's also a favorite contemporary of mine and i might rotate through what books i decide to face out just for fun and then we continue on with black books over here these are more miscellaneous sized ones and i think that's why this shelf to me <laughs> is kind of ugly because it is very misshapen it's not like a very standardized size it's very like blah, 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 blah. but i think it adds a little bit of flavor a little bit of difference so i have a book facing out daughter of smoke and bone the trilogy i just finished that i really like a ton of paperbacks and i also like that <laughs> these are kind of my like more crusty paperbacks that are a little more worn in i have some mass market paperbacks that are tiny some gray book so it goes from black to more gray and then it actually goes to deep purple and i actually have space here which i'm surprised so this is uh where i'm keeping like all of my bookmarks currently so it's just living right here so technically I have more space which i love but then we go into the purples i don't know i don't know if you could tell but it's like a deep purple that could easily be in the black section but deep purples and then going from the blacks to lovely purple which i personally really like this shelf i think it turned out so well i kind of wish this scheme actually started over here and went across but i don't know <laughs> that's a, a dream for another day so i have a lot of dark purples i have blood marked which i'm hoping to read maybe next week very excited a lot of these are like my favorite books of all times like piecing me together red queen perks of being a wallflower uh this is how you lose the time war american panda like literally all of these favorite books favorite books a few of them i haven't read but most of them are faves and i'm very very happy about it and i even have like this cute little pin that came with this book all the things i never knew by leora tamani which is also again a favorite book of mine so no the pin can live by the book and then i do have some books on here that i'm really excited to read like black cake and pachanko but yeah 
what a it's just stunning i love the color transition it's very very pretty to me dark purples into these like icy blues and then it goes down to these blues which this one is not ideal not just yet i'm so picky i'm so sorry <laughs> but I, again icy blues to more richer blues to true blues navies and then it goes dark blue which you know i think looks pretty good i think i could get just a little bit more i don't know specific or switching around books and things like that but i don't i don't got time for all that and i did mention i think the stitch corner which i appreciate very very much but yeah I have a ton of books on here. I feel like actually a lot of these books I have not read yet. I need to read Legendborn. Um, this is a book I'm really excited for. We'll do more magic for small change. A lot of books that I'm excited for. A lot of fave books. Lainey Taylor, Strange Dreamer, Seven Days in June. Um, yeah, some books I just finished. Some romance that I want to read. So we swoosh from like lighter blues to darker blues to some dark blues but then dark greens and then lighter greens which again i kind of like but again uh, i don't know it's like hit or miss <laughs> i'm trying to figure it out i kind of wish my darker colors were more on the outside and the lighter colors were more on the inside and have that more of the gradient so i might switch around some things but well we'll worry about that on, on another time so i have some dark greens uh which i love i've read all of these books basically except for like fifth season and a kata woman but i think overall the shelf looks pretty good again the last magician a fave uh fangirl's a favorite i love this contemporary i love a lot of these books serpent's curse very very good and then we move on to this kind of row which it gets a little bit odd and that's what i mean by like wanting the same color scheme all the way through because we go on to dark greens to light greens and then on this next shelf we start with light greens or like really bright greens light greens then we have this very miniature brown stack which i think kind of blends in pretty well i'm also hiding it mostly behind this little welcome door but there's that and then it goes into the yellows and i did a little vertical stack of yellows um which i think i like i think it's a it's a cute it's a cute shelf you know what i mean i don't know and then I have more oranges into reds. And reds are my favorite, but I, my reds are so split up right now with how I have them. So I have a lot of fun red colors and red books on this vertical stack. I have some over there. I have some hiding behind here. I definitely wanted... Oh, these are <laughs> going to move to storage, actually. This one I have on display because I think it's a beautiful cover. have not read it. really want to read it, but I'm so scared I'm not going to like it. But... I'm gonna do it eventually but look how stunning that is i actually i think i like this shelf i don't know it's it's hard <laughs> it's so hard i'm so picky guys i can't i can't decide i feel like it's cute but also at the same time not if that's possible and then we go into the last two bookshelves which goes like this white to some pinks and some reds this this corner hurts me a little bit because the reds are all so different and <laughs> i kind of hate that but it's okay because it's like towards the bottom of the shelf and then i have these whites and yeah i also i kind of love what i did here with this manga series um yona the dawn is a literal favorite manga series i only have one physical book um which alana gifted me i've only read 26 volumes there's literally like 37 volumes available now i really need to do a reread and keep reading and then I have some other mangas here and I have my little Paris snow globe and this cute little pin that my sister-in-law gave me. Live your most creative life. Yes, girl, I will. And then I have some more books with the Poet X facing out. Stunning. So I think I really like how this shelf turned out. Um, this one I need to work on. I feel like maybe it's like this whole shelf side is just like, ugh. what am I doing? <laughs> and then... These last two shelves, I'm ecstatic because I can actually have my art journals, my Switch games. I have some writing books here that are hopefully going to be really easily accessible because I do use this little table to write. And I'll like sit on all these pillows and do some writing. And then I also have some art 
stuff. I have a lot of comics which are very inspirational to kind of just page through. I have an art book that I also like to page through. And then I have painting and coloring materials, paint brushes. I have a ton of art supplies. But yeah, so that's this shelf. And that's this shelf, the Switch Games. Heartless by Marissa Meyer is literally the only book that did not fit and I didn't know where to put it. So she's hanging out over there making the Switch look real cool. I don't know if it's blasphemy, but um, I think it looks okay. I might have to get more red books in this little area to make it look, you know, a little bit more intentional. So those are the shelves. -hoo -hoo. Let me know. Do you like the rainbow? Do you approve? Or do you agree with me about like dark colors on the outside? Because I might have to do a whole revamp, which is really funny. Please let me know. But I do like them. I like that they're organized now. To be honest. So the last thing I want to focus on for this vlog is finishing Such a Fun Age. I have been kind of behind on my reading goal of reading one book a week so I really want to finish this and uh, my audiobook runs out tomorrow. So hopefully I'm gonna spend the rest of tonight reading. I am on page 130. I did a reading sprint so I got further along in the story. Oh, this is shaping up to be a very good five-star read and I'm very happy I finally picked up this book. Oh, and cute fun fact, if you are still watching this video, love you, but fun fact, uh, this little card I'm using as my bookmark is a postcard I got from a cafe I visited in Brooklyn, 79 Berry Street, Brooklyn, Cafe Colette. Very cute and I love the fact that I can now have this as a bookmark and it was actually one of my favorite places to eat at in Brooklyn to be honest. It was like the very first place that I ate at. <sighs> but yeah, gonna finish this and give you a review on if I do give it five stars because I really want, I want to have a five star book under my belt for this year, you know? It'd be really nice. Not my camera being so crooked. Oh, and it's cold. Oh, how do people survive in places that have like winter? I've literally been wearing this flannel every single day because it is so nice. I got it in New York and it's really thick and it's so good and I love it. So last night I like actually did my hair for like the first time, like really, really did it. Like she's, she's detailed. She's, she's good to go. Oh my God. I'm so grateful. I haven't done that in so long where I take the time to like three hours just like combing every little strand of curl <sighs> takes forever but i see why i used to do it every week <laughs> it's the next day and i'm gonna finish such a fun age yo yo <laughs> i have how many pages left i think i have 100 pages left Ooh, less than like 60 pages left and oh this lady is crazy that guy i don't trust him there's just so much <laughs> There's so much going on and I don't want to spoil anything because obviously 250 we're at like peak climax time like there might be a, like one more plot twist coming but like there's a lot happening I'm I'm stoked to see how it ends so will this be a five star I think it's gonna really depend on the ending so far I haven't gotten too much like I want to okay it is satire it is funny but like we haven't really been talking too much about privilege and this lady just did and this guy there's so much happening i'm like can we let's talk about it let's let's unpack this are we gonna laugh at it are we gonna point at it like what are, what are we gonna do <laughs> what are we what are we gonna do and the fact that it affects people so not fair <laughs> but yeah lots of thoughts lots of feelings i really want this to be a five star i feel like how it's been written so far i have really enjoyed it it's giving me the same energy as daisy jones and the six where you kind of think the premise wouldn't hit hard in the sense that a black woman getting accused of kidnap doesn't sound like a fun premise same as daisy jones and the six i'm not a big music person so i'm like a band breaking up who cares and for some reason because of the writing and the character development you care a lot so I really like that I want to read more adult fiction like this I do have an audition later today so hopefully I can finish this before four totally doable but it is already almost two because I function like a little snail in the morning like crawling out of bed this is my snail formation just like <sighs> okay I finished the book and oh my god what that ending what crazy but i also okay there's a lot of things i like about this story i do like how it ended up talking about privilege all that last sentence made me so sad because there's a character in here um 
Briar, which is like, I think everyone's gonna love that character the most because she's so sweet and so cute. She's just a little kid and she just loves what she loves. And it's so interesting because I feel like the story of privilege is almost kind of about her in a sense and being, oh, the last sentence of this book really just really hit me because I was like, oh damn, she right. Dang it. Besides the very interesting takes on privilege, which whew, towards the end, my mind, pff, I love the fact that like the people I didn't like, you know, there was good reasons to not like them. I feel like I knew it from the beginning. I knew you, I knew what you were trying to do, miss. I see you. It almost also talks about hustle culture too in a sense because our main character is 25 turning 26 and there's this discussion of she needs to get a real job she needs to have passion and a lot of side characters judge her for not having like a passion like a like something she needs or wants to do and i really love the fact that this book was kind of like that's okay that not everyone has this amazing calling where you don't have to hustle until you can't walk no more or start your own business or do any of that stuff like sometimes it's okay to just live your life and enjoy it with the people you enjoy and love period i really really like that and you know what i also kind of like that there's the people around her who are succeeding and doing business and all that stuff and it's like okay cool to each their own totally fine <laughs> yeah i def i think it's gonna have to be a five star like <laughs> Uh, like as it sits and marinates on the back and as I read probably more adult fiction I feel like maybe other books will stand out just a little bit more because there wasn't too much like oomph in this story I feel like what I like thought it was gonna be like sad and depressing about how black life sucks because <laughs> you are oppressed and all that jazz but I, I like the fact that it kind of wasn't about that it was just about figuring out your life and that yeah there's some extra shit to deal with when you're black and people fetishize you and people use you as like a stepping stone to to look better yeah that shit sucks um but i like how that was kind of on the back burner that there was a love story kind of going on and that she's just finding herself so i i appreciate and love that but there there was no dramatic like mm. Well, that's it for today's video. Thank you for hanging in. I know it's a long one, so hopefully you enjoyed. A little bit of reading, a little bit of book organizing. I feel like, I feel like I'm liking it. How, how are you guys feeling? Please help me. Comment down below if you made it to the end of this video. Put this emoji down below and let me know. Do you like the shelves? Do you not like the shelves? I'm like stressed about them, to be honest, because I really have to like my shelves. and. It's just, I'm, I'm feeling them, but I'm not, I'm confused. I'm like her. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, thanks for watching. I really, really appreciate you. If you haven't checked out my Pango Books account, I will link it down below. I still have some awesome books available for purchase. Let me show you some. If you like Jacqueline Woodson, I have a, I have a bundle. I have a beautiful bundle. Check it out below. If you, if you like Angela Thomas, check it out below. What about some Renee, Renee Watson? Oh, this cover. Do it. Do you want a whole trilogy plus a free arc? Do it. Okay, I'm done self-promoing. Please check it out if you would like. If not, totally fine. I appreciate you. I love you. Um, And more videos to come. Ooh, I'm going to start Legend War next week. Okay, bye.